Um, I thought in the, in the sake of getting things done, we'll go ahead and get started with student athletes. If you have a question, uh, just find someone with a microphone. Jake, uh, Adam Biggers, today's you.com. Jake, you, before the end of the season and toward, that, toward the ending of the regular season, you were talking about how it would be emotional for you to come back here, how you ended your high school career here. This, uh, was this game everything that you wanted it to be? Definitely. Um, you know, anytime you come out with a win, um, and offensively, the way we played, that was tremendous. You know, Davion carrying the load, doing a great job running, and the big five offensive linemen um, did a tremendous job. You know, anytime you come out with a win, and then defense also, you know, they only gave up seven points. Uh, as an offense, you can always work with only giving up seven points. Um, and our coaches as well, you know, Coach Drevno, um, Coach Fish, doing a great job, you know, in their respective areas, giving us great plays. Well, cheers. They got us a uh, great field position, um, and that always helps in offense. You shorten the field. Um, you, you know, it's hard to have a you know nine, ten, eleven play drive go eighty yards when the defense is doing so great, and the special teams also. You know, cutting the field in half it makes it a lot easier on us. All right. At this point, Q and A for uh, anybody up here, coach or student athletes. Coach Frank Shala, Sports Talk Florida. Can you just talk about, obviously, earlier in the week you talked about, you know, with the win today, this would be perhaps your funnest f year in football and just a little bit of a reflection post game? Yeah, I, uh, I thought long and hard before making that statement and uh, told the team the same thing that, um, you know, with everything, just um, coaching a great group of guys. Um, really a joy to coach. Coaching staff that was so good, and I, I give them the credit uh, in terms of coaching. But the way the staff came together, the trust that everybody had, we were real allies for each other um, <clears throat> and everything. My family, my wife Sarah, uh, the way they've been treated this, this past year, and the kids, and uh, I could go on and on. For Bo Schembechler, for, for Jack Harbaugh, uh, for, uh, for everybody. And I bet if you ask Jake Rudock, Jake, is this your best year in, in football? Yeah, it's hard to, hard to argue with that. <laughs> Davion? Uh, I agree with Jake. It's kind of hard to <laughs> argue with it. And I bet if you had us a lot of guys in the, in the locker room, you know, went down the list, you know, Graham Glasgow, uh, what an amazing player. I bet, he, I bet he's going to be a, I mean, he could be a first round pick. Uh, the way he played today, the way he's played all year uh, against our, I mean, they're pro players on that Florida defensive line without question. I mean, Jake Rudock getting, hitting passes against corners are going to be playing in the NFL. Uh, you know, he's, going to, he's going to be drafted. Davion was uh, a man possessed running the football. I don't think I've seen our offense play better. Uh, and defensively, uh, same thing. Jared Wilson, I think he'll be a, a guy that's drafted to the NFL, got an interception today. And, but it's his best year of football. But if you asked him, he'd probably say that. And, you know, talk to our four linebackers that they all have a chance to, to play uh, at the next level as well. And probably about 10, 11 guys on this team that uh, won't be back next year. But, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll watch them in August. You know, we'll, take a look. we'll take a few hours off and, and watch, them at, watch you guys play in the NFL. It'll be great. And, uh, and for the rest of us, guys like Davion and me, I mean, onward. 2016, this was the beginning of that year. Coach, over here on your left, Corey Coppock, W-E-Y-I in Flint, Michigan. Would you, would you say after dominating floor the way you did, this is the most complete game your football team has played this year? Yes, I, I would. Uh, I'd say this was uh, the best game we played all year. It was a great team win. Like I said, I don't think I've ever seen our offense play better. And uh, our defense was, uh, was magnificent. Uh, Credit to their defensive coaches, Greg Madison, uh, you know, world-class football coach. Uh, and, and the three and outs, the, the stops, the, you know, the, the play on third down, you know, everybody playing great team defense, it was, it was uh, really good. And then uh, special teams as well. I mean, that's, we were darn nervous about the Florida return game. And, and they're good at it. Uh, and we, we covered the kicks. We didn't. Have, I think we only had one punt, but uh, but the the kickoff coverage was was outstanding. 
uh, we made all our kicks. We, we executed uh, in every phase on the special teams and was really pleased. It was a great team win. Coach John Borton with the Wolverine, Wolverine.com. Well, one of the guys that isn't sitting beside you is Jehu Chesson. And if, could you talk a little bit about his effort today and what he gave you? Well, Jehu Chesson, the MVP. Uh, he's, a, he's a great player. He's, he's one of those guys covering those kicks. And uh, it was great to get a poster out. It was great to hit that. Uh, a lot of tight throws were made today. I mean, Florida is, is so athletic and, and has so much speed that you know, there's only tiny windows to, to make those throws and, and complete those, those catches. And, and uh, Jake Rudock was fabulous on the money today. I mean, d darn near flawless. Uh, and the receivers make big catches. As soon as they were catching the ball, they were getting hit sometimes and uh, you know, held out of the ball, caught the ball. Uh, I don't think there was a, any drop passes out there today. Um, and then you combine that with the way our offensive line was coming off the ball. I mean, really, really coming off the ball and on their assignments you know, throughout the game. And, and then uh, Davey, I've never, I've never seen a, I mean, I've never seen a back like this that breaks this many tackles. Uh, well, maybe Frank Gore, you know, type of guy uh, in terms of, I mean, he looks tackled by two, three guys and he's, he's burrowing, he's churning and, uh, you know, turning getting two more yards out of every single run today. You know, if it was blocked for two, he got four. If it was blocked for four, he got six. Um, you know, and sometimes even more than, than uh, two or three, more than what it was blocked for. Just, uh, man, incredible, incredible effort by Davion. That was, uh, got a lot of heart, a lot of drive, and a lot of talent. And, uh, you know, be, be excited about him next year as well. Hi, Jim. Scott Morgan, Roth, Detroit Monitor. I know Florida likes to come in with an arsenal of trick plays. I was kind of surprised that they d didn't kick the field goal early. Do you feel that that situation kind of set the momentum for you? You know, once you block that kick and then you can see something, gain some early momentum in the contest. I, I don't know. Um, you know, I think, the, I think they lost their, their kicker. We were, uh, he was in a boot pregame. We noticed that. So, uh, they, they had a they had a, uh, a different kicker in there, um, but it was uh, we made a good play. You know, there was our guys were you know on their assignments again. I mean, it was really good good special teams by uh, by us. John Baxter uh, did a heck of a job, and and so did the guys that were out there playing. So I can't say it was a you know. Not a, it wasn't a good call. I think it was a good guy. I was surprised by it. So I think we just responded in a good way. Steve Kornacki, uh, mgoblue.com. This is for Jim and Davion. A lot of times teams will look back at a season like this and say that was the foundation. Do you think that this season could end up being the foundation of something special? Well, we've always, we've always thought Michigan has uh, – uh, the foundation has been well-placed at uh, – at Michigan, so uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Uh, but they, I'm sure, uh, you know, all guys that, uh, all people that like Michigan are really proud of, of the fellas and the way they played all year and uh, they acquitted themselves well and uh, they are on the Michigan man list uh, because of the way they played. And, you know, we're not saying this is the greatest year in the history of Michigan football. I mean, that Michigan football now has been around for a long, long time, but uh, you know this team, this team, um, you know, quitted themselves very well. Uh, <clears throat> here you go, right here, sir. Uh, oh, yeah, set a foundation for us, I think, because um, we showed the heart out there, and, and it's a new year, so all we're gonna uh, we got to carry this over into the next year, in 2016, and. I believe our team will do that, and I'm pretty sure Coach Harwell will push us until we do that. So, uh, sure. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I agree with Coach Harbaugh. <clears throat> we just came out there and competed today, and and it showed that work and work and work actually pays off. So, I know he's going to keep that going on into 2016. I just say, I mean, just being in our locker room, I can tell you this. Um, 
Now, when, well, I don't know about the word, uh, what word to describe it other than if you could have been in there with us in the, in the locker room, you'd have, you'd have noticed that guys like being on our ball team. You know, we're on a ball team. And uh, it's a Michigan Wolverine football team. And we like being on that ball team. And uh, I know there's guys in that locker room that really like happy they're on a ball team and glad it's this one and, uh, and, and like what we got going on. There you go, sorry. Jim, right here in the middle. Adam Biggers, today is you. Could you talk about the progress, the cohesiveness from Utah to the end of the regular season, now that you guys had the extra time to prepare for the bowl game? What, what kind of differences have you noticed just mentality-wise in the program since you took over? You know, I haven't noticed any difference. I mean, not, not any change at all. I mean, uh, just you know, it's just been the players. Uh, they, have, they have really done it. Um, you know, it's, it's been the same. It's been the same demanding, intense, punishing pace from day one. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, gone with, it's gone with no, no change. Uh, you know, every single guy, I mean, I could go through another list of, of guys like uh, A.J. Williams. And, and uh, I know I said uh, uh, Wormley, uh, Ross, Jenkins Stone, uh, Jordan Lewis. I mean, just guys that wanted to be good. You know, they really wanted to, to be good. And they were serious about being good and uh, worked, worked with that intent. Uh, but no change. It was the same demanding, intense punishing pace uh, all the way through. Jack Hammers. Uh, Jake and uh, Debbie, on this question is for you guys. This was a season high in yards that you guys put on a, a defense that was considered to be one of the best in the country today. Was there something specifically that you prepared for and saw that opened up for you today? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we, we understood how they play. They play fast, they play physical. Um, you know, their linebackers are going to run you down. They're going to try to run through and they're going to make plays. Um, and our coaches did a great job of allowing us to understand that. You know, you watch film, but you know they've seen a lot more ball than we have, so we can understand what they're telling us is is going to happen. Um, yeah, I, I think it goes to you know Coach Drevno, Coach Fish. Those guys are doing a great job putting the game plan together, um, and everybody just working so hard. Um, it, you know, you got to give credit to every single person in this program, every single person that uh, you know is in the offices and the building and late hours. Um, those are the guys that are putting a lot of work and. You know, we appreciate all the work they've done to help us be successful on the field. All right, two more for Michigan. You know, Detroit News, can you attempt to sum up what this year has meant for you personally? Mm, that's tough. Um, you know, a lot of new things occurred this year. Um, obviously, transferring, uh, that's, that's a big thing to do. It's tough. Um, it's, I'm just really excited about what we were able to do. Um, you know, 10 wins is... This is no small feat in college football. It's very difficult to get there. Um, and you know, I'm just so thankful that we were able to do that you know, as, a, as a team. You know, that's the biggest thing. Any other questions? Uh, Jay, can you talk about that double move there um, earlier in the game uh, with you and Chesson? It seemed like that really opened up uh, the offense for the rest of the game. Yeah, um, th th that was a lot of scouting. Uh, that our coaches had done. Um, like Coach said earlier, they're, they're corners, they're secondary. Uh, they're fast, they're really good players. Um, and, you know, we just felt we could potentially get them on a double move. Um, and our coaches said, yeah, uh, or it's going to happen. And, uh, you know, J.U. ran a great route. The offensive line held up in great protection. Um, I, I mean, I had the easy job, just had to get it out there to them. And, uh, yeah, I think just, you know, top down, great job by our coaches, great job by our players. All right, thank you to Michigan. Congratulations. Thank you.